Hello, I'm the Luke Cartographer, and this is the 12th video in my Mass Effect Andromeda series. We're here on the Tempest, just above the planet Vold. There's the uh, remnant architect that we defeated floating around in front of us. In this video, we're going to go ahead and do a lot of stuff here on the Tempest. In fact, if we take a look here at the journal, and we back out of... It's my dog barking in his sleep. Back out of Priority Ops, we can see that we actually have a lot of stuff that we can potentially do. Uh, not Nakamura Drax specifically, but check our email from PB, check our email from Cora Harper. Um, oop, what was that? Talk to Liam? No, I guess we still have to find more worlds to evaluate. But anyway, we're going to talk to everybody here on the Tempest. We're going to talk to Ephra on the uh, Tempest meeting room thing. And uh, potentially go back to the Nexus, go back to the Arc Hyperion. We're just going to have to see exactly where everything goes, because I don't know where. Things specifically like PB's uh, conversation and uh, the conversation about Korra finding per perhaps some sort of hint about the Asari Arc, where those things might go. So let's start start with Kalo, because he was saying last time as we were closing things out that he wanted to, ch to have a chat. Sam's been compiling our star charts. The other pilots on the Nexus will have plenty of new trails to follow. You can drop the charts off the next time we're there. Funny. A few months ago, that station was like a war zone. Flying was my only way to escape the chaos. Now it's become a haven, just as it was meant to be. Every good space station needs a big lake. Maybe some fountains. Indeed. Even non-amphibians need a little water. Yeah. Regardless, the worst threat to the whole initiative is still that monstrosity. You mean the Scourge? I still see it crippling the Nexus in my memories. I had to train other pilots in hazardous flight techniques just to look for food and water. It's a cage that eats good ships and good people. Helios won't be home so long as it's a threat. The Angara live with it, and so can we. And if every one of our colonists was an ace pilot, I wouldn't be worried. If we could somehow neutralize it, or if our ships had defenses against it. Still, that's what we do, isn't it? Find a way where there is none. Just see the Nexus for proof of that. Right, let's see. Suvi? I saw pictures of the vault. Astounding how big it is. And how much of it didn't you see? What if it's way bigger? What's all that space for? With what it has to do, it could go thousands of miles below the surface of the planet. Or completely span it. An underground network. Just a thought, of course. I wouldn't even know where to start hypothesizing how it all works. The Remnant Builders, whoever, whatever they were, accomplished something far beyond us. I take you work closely with the Nexus Science Team? I try to keep in contact with them. We discuss anything and everything we discover out here. After all, many brains are better than one, and Dr. Aridana is worth two or three at least. <laughs> I work best when I have other people to bounce ideas off of. I'm still fuzzy about how we managed to see Andromeda all the way from home. It confused me too. I mean, the light lag would have made any data two there you million go. years out of date. That's what I was wondering. So I asked Dr. Aridana, and she told me, well, it wasn't her tech that did it. It was the Geths. You're kidding. Those killer robots we had in the Milky Way? Those exact ones. The initiative obtained data from an array in deep space. A Geth construct. According to Aridana, the Geth rebuilt a mass relay and turned the approach corridor into an FTL sensor. A what now? It operated like a telescope, just faster than light. It provided much more up-to-date info. Huh. We don't know why the Geth were interested in observing beyond the galaxy, though. Maybe we'll never know. Did my dad know about this? Why didn't he tell me? It's possible he didn't know. The Geth are isolationist and hostile. Using the info, even obtaining it in the first place, probably crossed a lot of boundaries. What do you know about the Remnant's terraforming network? From what I can tell, the vault is designed to adjust almost everything about a planet. Climate, pH of the soil, atmosphere composition. There's even evidence that it can propagate life. If we can figure out how to control the vaults, we could turn these worlds into perfect habitats. What do you know about the Scourge? We established that it's artificial. Someone put it there. Or they did something that caused its creation. We don't know why. That's still a mystery. When did you start believing in a god? My parents were both scientists. My home was ruled by rationality. So when I became a teenager, let's just say that while other kids found Batarian music, I found God. 
But your work as a scientist? Convinced me even more. Especially when I got into molecular biology, physics. The patterns I kept seeing over and over again. They were like an artist's watermarks. God, to me, is an artist. An inventor. Not someone checking to see if I brush my teeth. I should get back to things. Sounds good. All right, let's see. We can chat with PB. Assuming she's... Well, doesn't look like she is in here. Okay. Why don't we check the uh, armory? Is it the armory? Well, loadout station, I guess. No, the armory is further back. There's Lexi and Liam. Still not playing with you. I'll play. Really? Gambling doesn't seem like your style. Why? Because I have more degrees than you have fingers. <laughs> oh, shots fired. Need something? Doesn't look like there's anything new. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Um, uh, let's see, some we actually haven't done interesting that is that one of their ships or something? Anyway, uh we haven't done anything with these strike team missions in a while. Debrief on this. Ooh, they succeeded. And got me loot boxes, thank goodness. I was looking for some loot boxes. Oh, failed. Okay. I don't really care about that stuff, but I will occasionally check in on it if I need to. AVP status control. Okay, we have four cryopod points. Uh, I think there were a couple, actually, that I had my eye on. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, inventory capacity was one of them. I do like the idea of getting some credits every now and then, just randomly. Probably good to get that and that as well. Okay. Collect all rewards. 100 Milky Way research data. Acquired minerals. Credits. Okay. Alright. Look at that. All those things flowing in. Okay, let's check in with Cora. Did you hear the news from EOS? A sorry refugee showed up at the outpost. Huh. Only a few. But that's better than none. Bradley says there's an officer in charge. Hidaria. She could know where the Ark is. We'll head to Eos and see what she knows. Good. Rumor says Sarissa Theris was on the Asari Ark. Exactly who we need. Who's she? Probably the best commando strategist alive. Huh. Her biotic shields saved hundreds at the Battle of Kirkus. Apparently, Sarissa's acting as bodyguard to the Asari Pathfinder. She's probably got a plan out of this mess already. Well, someone's a fan. No, I... I just like... <laughs> Look, we need someone with her experience. That's all. I'll take someone with that much experience. Another reason to find the Ark. When you're ready to look, we can catch Hidari at Prodromos. Wouldn't mind tagging along. Sounds good. You will come along with us then. Let's check in with Jal. Or not. Okay. Well, Liam's out there. We can chat with him. One hell of a trip this is turning out to be. Hostiles, ruined worlds, no home in sight. Everyone's getting toasty. There was a two hour argument yesterday and no one even knew how it started. That's not good. Luckily, I have the perfect way for people to unwind. Movie night. <laughs> Taking a breather for a good movie? I could get behind that. Best part is, it doesn't need to be good. You still get mileage out of the bad ones. It's true. It's worth it to jumpstart everyone's pioneer spirit and all that. The Tempest database is pretty dry. Could you download a movie library from Nexus Ops to see what I've got to work with? If I have time. Thanks. Everyone will appreciate it. Alright, let's see. I know Ephra will be contacted from up here. Prepping we need to... communications. We're not doing that just yet. Sam, let's see. Let's check in with the other folks. Anybody? Yep, there's somebody. Is that PB? Your ship's layout confuses me. Bridges four, engine rooms aft, med bay starboard. Smart stuff up front, powers and back. That helps. 
I did not like the look of that Archon. Maybe the Angara will let me pitch a tent on Aya for the duration. <laughs> You'd let a bone-faced blowhard like that deprive you of my scintillating company? That blowhard hates you now. If you're not careful, he might deprive me of your company. <sighs> All right. Next time, keep him on the line. I might have something to say. <laughs> I like it when you flirt. I wouldn't want you to stop. Have I flirted with you? <laughs> Don't worry, Ryder. I'm relentless. It relaxes me. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Okay, so looking for Gil. Is he going to be back over in here? Ah, there you are. Gotcha. Do I need to get Lexi to do a psych review? <laughs> Maybe. People have been telling me I'm crazy my whole life. Just dealing with some scourge issues. That Archon fella tried to warn you not to joyride into it, but you were just la la la. <laughs> it was an act first, think later move. I respect it. Well, more like I resemble it. <sighs> hey, you play poker? Come again? Poker. Card game, bluffing, betting. It's an age-old measuring stick of a person's character, fortitude, guts. Used to think maybe it was my calling. Turns out I'm just good at it. Never lost, heads up. We should play sometime. Willing to put your streak on the line? Huh. I'll risk it. Next time we port up and you're in the mood, I'm always in the mood. Okay. Let's see. Ride the elevator down. Still need to check in with at least three people, I think. Here's Jaw. Yes? I want to learn more about your species. What would you like to know? Here we go. How long have you had electromagnetic capabilities? How do they evolve? No idea. Biology doesn't interest me, but I'm sure you can easily read up on it. That's disappointing. No biology at all? How do your eyeballs work? Okay, I get your point. Maybe I can find an Angara doctor to ask about your... whatever. Although, I used to know some facts. Like, the origins of our vestigial organs. Oh yeah, humans have a coccyx, a vestigial tail. And I have webbed toes, just a couple, but Sarah doesn't. And she had wisdom teeth, but I didn't. Now you. No idea. <laughs> okay. The Angara seem so open and free with their feelings. Are we? Hmm. We're certainly not ashamed of our feelings. We're taught that feelings and beliefs should live on the outside, where they can be dealt with, honestly and openly. Don't people get hurt? Of course. Then everyone deals with it. That's the point. How many colonies do you have? On what planets? Since the Scourge, we've managed to survive on a small number of planets. What we know from before the Scourge is mostly oral history. We did have spaceflight, and the stories tell of five original colonies. You studied with Moshe Sefa. Is she a teacher or a religious figure? She's many things. She's a clear thinker with deep knowledge and insight. She teaches and inspires. She is beloved. I love her. People are willing to die for her. She sounds pretty special. She is. I hope you get to know her. Well, enough about that. Can you tell me more about the cat occupation? It's a difficult subject. I'll answer what I can. I may get emotional. When the cat came, why didn't you fight? They didn't give us a reason to. Until they did. Then it was too late. Perhaps you think we were weak. But the Ket are ruthless. They are masters at knowing exactly when and how to strike. I get that. Believe me. Have the Ket always been here? No. Some, like the Morshai, are old enough to remember the time before the Ket. But I don't. Nor do my mothers. And the Archon came with them? We think so. 
Resistance intel on that is unclear, and few have seen him in person. And lived to tell? And lived to tell. What's living under the cat been like for you? Do you really want to hear about these things? They're painful. I asked, didn't I? It's like living on unstable ground. Every day brings more horrible news. I part company with someone not knowing if I'll ever see them again. When I was a boy, my father vanished from my life. One horrible day. Was he in the resistance? No. He was a technician at a mine. He went to work and didn't come home. That happens for an Angara child somewhere every single day. Well, enough about that. What's your story, Jal? Tell me about yourself. Why? Well, why wouldn't you? You hiding something? Maybe. That would only make sense. You're messing with me, right? Possibly. What does it mean? Uh, it's an idiom. <laughs> it means you're joking, trying to make me feel uncomfortable. Ah, then no. Ephra instructed me to be cautious. I'm not very good at being cautious. Okay. I'll see you later, John. Stay strong and clear. All right, uh, Vetra? She's still in her office, or no? No, okay. Well, there's a need to find Drac. I think they might be together. We'll see. Maybe in the kitchen? Anybody in the med bay? Nope. Anybody? Oh, <laughs> there's the pie jack. Strong, honorable survivors. Been a while since I encountered a new friendly species. Last time was the humans. Oh, yeah. You lived through first contact with them, didn't you? If I recall, my exact words were, they're bold for being so squishy, do they know they're mostly water? <laughs> Harsh. Don't let Ryder hear you. <laughs> uh, crew info board. Let's see. Drive core noise. No need to panic about the drive core noise this morning. Just a stress test. There's nothing wrong with the 0500 wake up call. Gil. Comments. Profanity deleted by InfoBoard VI. You're welcome, Liam. <laughs> Adjective verbing nouns, Gil. Liam. Liam, if the VI learns to censor all language, I'm making you reprogram it, Cora. Educational, in a way, Joel. And Garn word of the day, Tavum. Tavum, noun. A pleasant intoxicant stirred into hot water or fruit juice. Say Tavum. Tavum. Joel. What's it made from? Is it sweet? Or more like beer, Vetra. What happens if you mix it with booze? Does it get better, or do they cancel each other out? We need some specific uh, scientific tests, maybe with little umbrellas from PB. Uh, let's see. After action report, fire drill. Notes from the last fire drill. Liam's new evacuation plan cut 22 seconds off our best time. Drac, we need a solution for you vis-a-vis -vis ladders. PB, you're dead because you were two minutes late to the evac point. Cora, comments. I live in an escape pod from PB. <laughs> Okay, uh... How'd you resist all that tasty fruit on Aya, huh? Check your helmet before you put it on. This scratch? He was sleeping in mine. <laughs> okay. Ryder. Eh, nothing new. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. No, I actually didn't. I had to find you this time. I've seen a lot of shit in my life, but that vault certainly was a first. Things are gonna be interesting with you around, kid. Doesn't matter what life throws at me. It's what I make of it, right? You keep that going, you just might live as long as I have. Minus zero at the end. <laughs> Wouldn't doubt it. Now that we've been digging, it's clear you were right about Spender. Guy like that'll do anything to get ahead. Just wonder how far he went. We can talk more later. Sure. All 
All right. I wish they wouldn't make make you wait for them to do the full turn around. Like I get why they do it. They don't want you interfering with their movement there. But it still it just makes for like a weirdly awkward conversation ender. Kind of weird to see that thing hanging out out there. <laughs> Let's see. Where's oh, there's a little Turian ship that we picked up down on Vold. Let's uh, check our email. Rimtech, two rider from PB. Thanks for that remnant storage box from the EOS vault. All I need is one particular piece of Rimtech to complete my project. My scanner located what I need on Vold. Any chance we could go find it? We already did that. Turians on Havarl, two rider from Kandros. Pathfinder, I'm getting reports about Turian sightings on Havarl. Since it's an Angarn world, I was hoping you could check it out. Apex isn't noted for their diplomatic talents. This needs discretion. Gandros. Free for an interview from Carrie Tavessa. Hello, Ryder. Word is you've had a successful mission on Eos. Well done. Wants to talk about it on camera? Carrie. I think we already did that. Exercise in futility to Ryder from Gil. Your crew has started a regular poker game to try to improve their skills and try to beat me. I bet it was PB's idea. They've even roped poor Jal into it. So, I won't be needing a raise anytime soon. I believe there's going to be an infusion of funds coming my way. If I was one for emoticons, there'd be a big, goofy, smiley face right here. Gil. Uh, Ugh. Two rider from PB, the peeved. Your doctor is one of the nosiest Hisari I've ever met, and that's saying a lot. She needs to take it down four or five notches or I won't be long for this show. Which would be too bad, I think. Oh, never mind. PB. Making contacts. Two writer from Liam. Heads up. First thing I did after Aya, figure out who we're really talking to. Because we all know the ones in charge, they're not on the ground. Jaw had some pointers, and I've got some names from smaller Angarn colonies. It'd be a while before they trust us, but it's all about exposure. I saw it all the time in Crisis Response, especially in post-combat zones. Low console Varand, if you see any messages from her, it's just me reaching out. Costa. Liam has included a list of media-themed to first contact. Genres include hard science fiction and a sorry vid about first contact with humanity titled How They Must See Us. Okay. Curious Vold Rock. To writer from Chief Lucan. Pathfinder, the rock you found is certainly something. As far as I can tell, it's a remnant of a meteoroid that passed through the Scourge before falling on Vold and fusing it with a similar charge. The presence of the Helios native metallic elements within the rock may have allowed for such a transfer. I'm unsure why the Adi reacted to it the way they did. I've stored it in a lead line box. It unnerves me. Chief Lucan. Probably a good idea. Uh, balanced diet for two rider from Lexi. Rider, as part of overseeing the crew's physical and mental welfare, I thought I'd send along a fo the following tips for a balanced diet. Given that large amounts of exercise you partake in every day, it's important that your body receives the nutrients it needs. Carbohydrates, 5 to 11 servings a day. Fruit and vegetables, 4 to 5 servings a day. Protein, 3 servings a day. Fats, 1 serving a day or less. Lexi, this is food pyramid stuff. This stuff was even out of date when this game came out. Let's see. Communication from Jal Amadarav. To Rider from Jal. Pathfinder Rider, a manifest of items I've brought aboard your ship, the Tempest. 1. Blankets and bedding in the event that your unfamiliar alien bedding is insufficient or uncomfortable. 2. A small number of personal projects. These are bits and pieces of Angarn tech and weaponry. 3. 25 jugs of nourishment paste. This will need to be replenished regularly. 4. Armor, including 2. Rofjin, unknown, alternative cape, suspenders, and equipment to repair them. 5. Vials of salves, creams, and perfumes. I can provide your science officer with a list of ingredients that is required. I've also brought my personal weapon, a Ket rifle. I've been issued an Omni tool, which I'm currently calibrating. I hope this list is compliant. Communication from Jal. To Rider from Jal, Pathfinder Rider of the Human Initiative. I've heard privately from Ephra, the leader of our resistance. He's very impressed that we were able to help the op squad on Vol, and I've made sure that he knows you played a key role. Maybe he's already said these things to you, but if I know Ephra, he probably hasn't. As for me, I've learned a lot about trust, being on this team, letting myself be open to trusting you and the others. I've learned that trust is more of a feeling than a science, and it seems like it is a universal truth. Universal, get it? Yes, I do. Uh, I'll try to be even more trustful in the future. This assignment might change my life. Good night, Jal. News from Eos. To Rider from August Bradley. Pathfinder. I could use your help with something Hanley's working on. I don't fully understand, so I'll let her explain it. She'll brief you when you get here. August Bradley, Leader Perdromos. Writings of Sarisa Theris. 
Two writer from Cora, I know you're busy, but Cerise's manuals and writings really are worth reading if you get the downtime, especially A Rock in the Maelstrom, her classic work on crisis strategy and emergency response. The First Three Centuries, A New Huntress's Path, you can borrow the copy that Nisra gave me. Twelve Leaves, a mix of meditations and tactical insights. This was co-written with someone called R. Tanaya. Speeches and Silences, this is about our experience in the Battle of Kirkus and all the politicking that led up to it. Also, has the original battlefield vids of Sarisa shielding a city district with her biotics. Impressive. Uh, wow, seriously, a full city district? That sounds impossible. Exits from the Void contains her induction address to new commandos and a historical analysis of the first Asari Spectres. I hope you enjoy them, Cora. Got a plan. Two rider from Liam. Come by when you got a minute. I've got an idea to run by you. Might help everyone with the craziness around here, Costa. Mail from the Angaran Resistance HQ. Two rider from Ephra. Words reached me that you found a pre-scourge in Garan AI and that you chose to keep it for yourself and send it to the Nexus. What's wrong with you? Jal explained that the AI itself was hostile and wished to go with you. Regardless of your stance on free will for artificial intelligence, I would have liked to make that call myself. Pranche was ready to close the embassy. It's only because of your continued work against the Ket that I was able to persuade her against it. I assured her that you would cooperate with all the data you recovered because of it. Right? Please try not to be so stupid next time. It was either that or... I mean, she didn't seem like she was going to cooperate with anyone else, but yeah, I get why he'd be upset about that. Confidential Vold Intel, to writer from Commander Dozil. Since your liberation of the labor camp on Vold, some information has come to my attention. For years, the Ket ignored our work in the frozen city of John Nick. Searching for details of a buried past didn't seem to threaten them. One day, we must have uncovered something that the Ket deemed extremely dangerous. They invaded the city, killing or enslaving our archaeological team, and locked it down. Intel from the labor camp seems to confirm what have, to this point, only been crazy rumors. There may be an ancient pre-scourge AI locked in the ice beneath the city. Yeah, I mean, we've figured that out already. This explains the Prefect's swift and violent move. I've heard that the Ket shun technology like artificial intelligence, and they certainly wouldn't want us to have it. Please keep this knowledge to yourself, okay? Is this a joke too, Ryder from Kesh? What did you send me? At first I thought it was a joke, but no, you sent me a hostile AI? Ryder? Got her set up cozy and tethered into Sam node, but not before she spaced a couple crates of supplies headed for Pedromos and displaced the gravity in the Pathfinder HQ. I didn't tell Tan or the others. For now, this will be our little secret. Okay, I really want to know what happens with that because, I mean, we had to kill an Angaran to keep that thing alive. The Brothers McCoy. Okay, we, I think we actually read that before. So, yeah, we're done with the emails now. Uh, Sam? Hello, Scott. Meeting with the Angara is truly historic. I'll say. My only comparison is Alec Ryder's experience in the First Contact War. A time of uncertainty and cultural misunderstanding. We are arguably in a similar time, yet your encounter was peaceful. I can see what humanity has learned. All right. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. Okay, let's see. So we need to go ahead and look at that. We're getting all these other things. Turian Ark not dead yet. Call Ephra from the Tempest meeting room. That's the one we've had. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Oh, we also need to somehow find a movie for Liam. I don't really know where we do that, but... Anyway. Everyday Tershav. Commander? Pathfinder. Joel's been keeping me updated on your adventures. Your good deeds on our behalf. I meant them. I want you to know you can trust me. You rescued Shadow Khan. His loss would have been hard for the Resistance. But your true agenda is clear. To explore Aya's vault. Jarl says you want to help find the Moshai. Why should I let you? I'd like this to be the beginning of a strong relationship. Keep your promises and little by little our bond might grow. We've managed to trace the Moshai to a special Kent facility on Vold. Why special? These facilities are protected by a dynamic shield tech we haven't been able to crack. We're close, but its ability to adapt outstrips the speed of our current processors. Pathfinder, adding my processor to that program would no doubt make the difference. Ephra, I can help. Respectfully, this time you need my help. Respectfully, the Angara don't need anything from you. 
We take care of our own. With the processing power of my AI, I can guarantee the shield breach. AI? Of course, that makes sense. He's physically connected to me, and so I need to... Well, I want to go. It was risky to be honest about your AI. And honesty makes you different from the cat. <laughs> I hope so. You're welcome on the mission. Thank you. A team will meet you at our base on Vold. They'll take you to the cat facility. Stay strong and clear. Goodbye. Giles All right. Wanted to see you. I really thought we were actually done on Vold, uh, but uh, we'll be heading back down there. First off, though, we need to go speak with Jal. I assume he's still down in engineering. Maybe not. Maybe he's moved. Uh, no? Is it? Okay, that's not. Okay, he doesn't seem to be there. Maybe he's in his room. So, you've gained Ephra's trust. No easy feat. Yeah, but at a price. Mm. You mean the Rokar? <laughs> Don't take it personally. They hate all aliens. Ephra made it seem like you had experience with them. I know their leader, Aksul. We studied together under the Moshai, <laughs> but unlike me, he was a good student. The best, actually. Then he knows about Remnant? He did. <laughs> it's a long story. Give me the short version. Aksul was captured by the Ket. He spent a year in a forced labor camp before he managed to escape. That's why he hates aliens. Yes. He... suffered greatly. When Axul returned, he no longer cared about the Remnant. Or anything. Except destroying the Ket. Why not join the Resistance? Axul's not the type to follow orders. And... I think he was bitter we weren't able to rescue him. So he formed the Rokar. We didn't give them much thought. But since your people arrived, his cause has grown. I convinced Ephra I'm not a threat. Maybe I can do the same with Axul. <laughs> I admire your courage. But Axul's dangerous, and he lacks Ephra's pragmatism. He'll make you want to kill him. I have to try. If Helios is to be your home... I guess you'll have to deal with the Rokar one way or another. There's a recluse on Havarol who escaped with Axul from the Ket. Her name is Thaldir. She might know how to contact him. I'll send you the nerve point. All right. Well... I think that's that for now, but we need to get down to Vold and take care of this mission. We'll see what time it is after we finish that, like how long I've been recording. And at that point, we'll determine. I'll lend you 30 if you pay me back by tomorrow. Done. Thank you, Subi. Someday I'll find out why you're always strapped for credits. I would guess poker. But after we finish this mission, we'll figure out whether or not we're going back to the Nexus. Approaching the LZ. Okay, let's see where this is taking us. Okay, back to the headquarters. All right. Are you the pathfinder that Ephra was talking about? That's me. We're the team assigned to breach the facility with you. Hopefully rescue Moshai Sefer. I'm your pilot. The Kent facility is on the other side of the planet. Ready to head out? No time to waste. You can fill me in on the shuttle. Okay, everybody in.
so no one has ever seen the inside of one of these places. Really? None who lived to tell. Prisoners who go in are never seen again. They have been disappeared. Oh, mysterious. No one's escaped? Sure, we've liberated cat work camps, but never these facilities. We lost so many fighters trying. The price was too high. I like to believe that the cat take important Angara from here to their home cluster. What? As slaves? I guess. Death is better. Jaw, we can't just give in to blanket despair. We gotta have hope. It's why they fight. It's why we're here. It's why we're excited to be part of this mission. We're here. And let's be quick, this storm's getting worse. Once we're through the shield, you take point. We'll look for Moshe Sefa. Let's just try to stay safe, okay? The Pathfinder. No one joins the Resistance to stay safe. Ooh. That's Good a luck. big building. Radio me when you're ready to go. Do we even know what kind of force we can expect? Not a clue. Stay close. Don't draw attention until we have to. They won't expect us to disable that shield. Might give us an edge. Our intel says there's a system node to hack on an interface point near here. Somewhere. Scale's our top cat hacker. Running Garn shield disable program. Adding my process accelerator. Stand by. Continue to stand by. Please don't embarrass me in front of our new friends. I have created a small hole in the shield. Oh, thank you. Look, it worked. We're not there yet, but we'll get there. Oh, there's something right there. That's Sam, pretty good. By the time we leave, I want to know everything about this place. Yes, Pathfinder. All right, let's go. Owen, Skelv, you're on me. An advanced compound comprised of organic and inorganic materials not found in the Milky Way or Helios databases. Ultimate tensile strength is estimated to be 1500 megapascals. Should be easily shattered by gunfire. Okay. Well, instead of gunfire, though, why don't we go ahead and give it one of these? Anything, let's keep scanning because I'm sure there's crap load of stuff in here that we've not seen before. At least I hope so. Let's see here. How about. <laughs> Took care of their destined. Yes, incredible. I can't believe I'm here. And I bet neither can these guys. Wait till I tell my brothers. They'll be so proud. Okay. I stared at the outsides of these places so many times. I can't believe we got here. Our people's things are here. Abandoned. From the prisoners. Do we have time to... Can we just look around? What is this thing hey, that I just scanned? Pre-recorded project projection of the Archon. On it. Don't see anything else here. Let's take a look though, just to be sure, because I don't think there's gonna be any coming back here. <laughs> Yeah, I guess we're good. Okay. We're moving forward. Commander that Heck. Puddle up. If we were a surprise, I doubt we're one anymore. You have the best chance of finding Moshe Sefer. We'll attack head on and provide a distraction. That sounds a little like suicide. We're ready for anything. This is the main entrance. We'll go this way. Kick in the front door. Stay in radio contact, and good luck. They run weird. Oh, data Can pad. cause enough trouble to keep the cat up? And Garn data pad. If anyone gets this, please tell my family that so far I'm fine. Benji and 
Stala and I were on a dig and we were captured. They took us to, into a holding area and did a bunch of tests on us, blood and skin scans. Now, I'm in a new group of prisoners that includes the Moshai. I got to talk to her for a long time. It's incredible and sad, although they seem to be treating her especially well. Tell Jazzle not to blame himself. Our work is worth these risks. Stay strong and clear. Marach. Well, there's a container I can loot. Count on it. Alpha. Finder, it seems the program I used to breach the shield could overload it and destroy this facility. Oh. However, the pulse would be lethal to Angaran physiology. That's not ideal. Let's call it a last resort. Oh. This window appears to be impenetrable. Sam, what is this? A decontamination protocol. The chamber is sealed until the cycle runs its course. So, we're trapped. I hate that. No, Sid. Break the window? No, the seal is invulnerable. Decontamination? Is that weird to anyone else? Good question. Probably with a creepy answer. Germaphobes? Pathfinder, come in. How's it going? We're undetected, but from where we're hiding, we can see some of our people. We seem to be in the only area. No more shy yet. Understood. We're just discussing our next move. We'll be in touch. Can't go through that door. Raise it down. Okay, Joel. We got doors at both ends of this hallway. I want to check them out. Oh, looks like a little Where boardroom or something almost. Okay, let's stay sharp. Well, Never mind, well. this is definitely a working here? area. They all sleep here. Some kind of commune? Should we toss the place, job? Whatever that means. It doesn't sound violent enough. <laughs> Dispatch to Cat Base. Benefactor, I hear you're having good success at... Imprecise alt, question, question, Eos. My transfer to this place was a good idea. There's so much to learn. I'm glad you suggested it. Let's meet again. Perhaps you would be interested in my home world, like you once showed me yours. In harmony, Huh. Okay, that was odd. Destined P I P Q T T K. Destined PQTK, I don't even know how you pronounce that. You achieved the work you came to Helios to accomplish. I now expect more. Congratulations and tribute. One day you'll be further exalted, Archon. Huh. That's weird. Fortunate greetings, Prefect Zugit. Although tired of the cold and close space, I have gratitude to be finishing my studies. Parsing the electrovoltaic imprecise alt medium cultivation impregnate sequence is my true challenge. I hear of opportunities on Vecran, imprecise alt extirpation question question annex, harmonization for our empire. It gives me reason to persevere. Seriously, what the hell are they talking about? Sounds like they got a lot of these research facilities. Let's check the other door at the other end of the hall. I got a feeling that we're gonna have a big old cat waiting, uh, kit party waiting for us when we move forward. Given that these rooms have been empty. Huh. This looks like a classroom, right? Guess facing the front of the class is universal. What's that thing against the wall? Stasis pod. No idea. Stasis pod would be my hypothesis. Stasis pod school. Maybe they are sending the Angara home. Maybe. Data pad, the Wraith. Pre-arrival recon identified the native Chelerian as an initial species to be imprecise alt flung embraced bandied for exaltation. On arrival in Helios, a facility was built in the long road to harmonization where the Ket genetics began. Ability to cloak, harmonized with imprecise unknown reference, genetics brought from the Ket homeworld. Hypothesize, quantify level of harmonization necessary at prime success. Yeah, I'm beginning to think more and more that they're turning the Angaran into more Ket. I think that's what the Chosen are. Let's see. Because they clearly made the raids using the Chalarian. For the Chosen, which of these is the most important step? Which is the most important for Archon? For all Ket, for you. 
At what point are you done and relieved of duty? Pain is proof of harmony. True? Explain your reasoning. Alright, let's move forward now. Let's get these guys without much of a ruckus. There aren't let's that many. scream it. Killing at least. Ooh, what's this? Ket core encryption tech. That door is locked. That door. That's the door we came in. That door is open. What the hell? Communications room. If you can access the terminal, I will download the log for that hollow. Hold up, anything else in here before we do that? Container. Let's see here. This Archon sure thinks he's something else. It's revolting. Clearly compensating for something. Download complete. Analysis may take some time. Okay. The Mosha isn't here. We need to keep moving. Which way out of here? Whoa. Big old statue of the Archon. What is this? Welcome. Step forward. I am humbled before you. You who are the chosen. Chosen by the Archon. Knew it. Chosen to be exalted. Yep. Chosen to be exalted. What? Why aren't they resisting? That's some crazy cult shit down there. Those Angaro look like they're in some sort of trance. I know the Moshai. She's not down there. But maybe in one of those pods. Oh, God. It's as good a lead as any. You wanted a distraction? We just set our plan on fire. <laughs> Impossible! <laughs> Explain. We've been breached. I will defend the temple. Wait. Is the most I among these? No. It awaits final exaltation. Then proceed immediately and bring it to me. Huh. Final exaltation? What's final? What are they doing? We have to save all the Angara. We're here. Let's do everything we can. Thank you. That wasn't the plan. Plans change. Come on. Let's see where those pods go. That can't be right. She called them the Chosen. Chosen for what, exactly? Jal, they can't have chosen to be here, can they? No, of course not. I don't know what's going on either. Whatever it is, we need to get the Moshai out of it. I want to blow up that statue. Come in, Pathfinder. Go ahead. We contacted Commander Dazeel. More fighters are on their way. Send scientists to and missions. Let's gather all the intel we can. We'll do. Jaw, our objective is still the Moshai. Of course, but we can't waste this opportunity. It cannot be a coincidence that their foot soldiers are called the Chosen as well. Dang it, P1. 
enemy. Can we scan over here? Yeah. Oh, what can we scan over here? Because we just want to get a scan. You holding up? So far, we're beyond the main chamber now and continuing our infiltration. This place is crazy. What are you seeing? It's like a, I don't know, a weird church. It's so strange. We found a room of prisoners who were entranced or something. Couldn't convince them to evacuate, so we had to leave them behind. Here we go. Sam, any luck figuring out how this place works? Yes, Pathfinder. I am making progress, but the Angara had no interview. How many bullets? Oh no. Joel. Jeez. We can try scanning. Who are they? Angaran male. Estimate 35. 191 centimeters. Scar tissue, lower right abdomen. That's not her. None of these fit her description. Ryder, if you find a console, I will try to access it. Okay, here we go. Hold up, anything else we can scan in here? No. Okay, Ken Terminal. Let's see what you've got hiding in here. Sam? Searching. The chosen are locked by genetic information. Hurry, please. I am working at top velocity with an alien language and an alien technology. Checking against <laughs> Angaran databases. The Moshe was here, but her pod was pulled out of line moments ago. Uh oh. Where to? Pods travel from here to rooms that encircle this core. On it. Let's go. Okay. Pathfinder, come in. Go ahead. Our reinforcements are arriving. We're doubling back to rendezvous. We have a lead on the Moshe. We think she's alive. Star strength. That's good news. We'll keep in touch. Looted some crap back there. I don't know if that was louder or quieter than our typical way of breaking those down. Okay, which way is the way? Well, I don't have the, <laughs> the proper locator thing like you do in uh, Dead Space. I was about to try to use that. Let's see. What Container? Yet. Grim. Be nice if we could just let these people out of the pods. Contents is genetic material. Cat. Yeah. Decontamination product. Get down. Sam, can you do anything about this yet? Working on it. It's the Cardinal, I think. Don't kill him! Joel, he's shooting at us! Sorry, Joel! 
We'll get these kids bastards, I promise! Monsters! Villains! Time to die! Couldn't have said it better myself! Why? No. Got them all. Okay, everyone good? Now, what the hell? What was all that? Okay, that was beyond messed up. I've seen some... Joel? They are us. <laughs> the Moshe. I'll keep scanning for her. Okay, so that wasn't it her. Looks okay. like there are other rooms like this. And it we isn't her. find her fast. Start by finding the Moshai. If anyone can figure out what this means for the Angara, I'm guessing it's her. You are probably right. Ryder, Joel, she's here. Hurry. Come on, come on. Nope. Oh, they're gonna do the same thing if we don't get in there. Sam, get me into that room now. Decontamination bypass hack. <laughs> Keep on moving. Sam, what have you got? I was able to access the facility plans at the last terminal. A best guess would be the shuttle launch area above. Moshe Sefa, we're coming for you. You will not take her. No, you will not take her. Time to kill the cardinal. My own exaltation shields and protects me. You flawed ignorance. Where the hell is he? There he is. I hate that orb. All back. PB's hurt. And PB in the scene. What do I do here? Uh, am I down now? I'm down. Kind of feels that sometimes, like I'm the only one shooting the orb. gonna die.
Is he dead? I think he's dead. Wait a second, can we loot his corpse? Because I'm willing to bet he actually has some pretty good stuff on him. And the area is clear at the moment anyway. Really? Alright. Seems like a waste to not have the boss have any loot on him. But, whatever. I gotcha. We're getting you out of here. No one has ever returned from behind Ket walls. Well, I don't know the rules yet. <laughs> anyway, this place is on alert. We have to get out of here. Now. I'm not the only one here. They took the entire cell. Vitals are bad. The immune system's been decimated. <sighs> How are you alive? You will not take it. It is meant for the Archon himself. She's coming with us. What? Wait. I want to know why the Archon. Arrogant simpletons. This is a gift. <laughs> Who are you to deny it? You turn them into monsters that fight their own people. These chosen join with us to become great beyond your ability to understand. Yeah, I bet. Like them, I was once wretched, and the exalted DNA of our great Archon entwines with mine. I stand on the shoulders of his greatness, as they do. As one day, you will. Yep. <sighs> Except, greatness can't be engineered. Pathfinder, I am tracking multiple inbound cat cruisers. You will all be exalted. Sam, is there an off switch to this horror palace? I've accessed the EM field. I can overload at your command. You promised you would get our people out. There's no time to open hundreds of pods, let alone help the Angara inside. Wait! Leave my sacred temple intact, and I will open the pods of the Chosen. Take them. Just leave this holy place standing. No. Even if I die here, this place must be destroyed. We can come back to destroy it. Let's free these here now. If your plan fails, the Ket will simply fill this place again. With respect. Our compatriots are also here. Our fighters, our scientists, our strength! All right. Release the Angara below. Enact emergency shutdown. Release all the Chosen. Jal, have the Resistance free as many as they can before the Ket arrive. I will. And thank you. I thank you too. I see you begin to understand the gift that the Ket bring to all Andromeda. Just get out of here before I change my mind. You are true to your word. Just one of the things that makes us great. All on our own. And yet your greatness may cost my people dearly. We have the Moshai. Heading to the roof for extraction. All right. And here comes the cat. Guess they want their Moshai back. I don't know how this is going to end. I will help. Come, stand near me. No, Why? Moshai. Save your strength. That's my decision to make. Ah, uh, help. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to end. I will help. Come, stand near me. No, Moshai. Save your strength. That's my decision to make. Honestly, she probably should. Shade. 
Good lord, look at all those. Are those more like this? Act! Get our people out! As many as you can! Before reinforcements arrive! I will, but I think we should destroy this place while we're here. Whoa, heads up! Oh my. Sorry, I can't land. Pull up to the edge of the roof. We'll figure it out from there. Oh crap! Hold it! Come on, guys! Seriously! I hear you, Ryder! On it! Whoa! Can we form these guys too? Must be! What the hell? Not sure I want to bust into that factory! Oh, where are you dropping? Come on, big boy. Come on. Oh. Oh. Okay. Whoa. At least that seems to be, thing seems to be coming after me and not the Moshe. I thought there was somebody over there, but okay. I feel myself failing! Leave me behind if you must! I'm in! Can't find her. Come get us! We're ready for extraction! On our way. The storm's getting worse. We need to leave. Now! Whoa! There are three of them? will set our cause on fire. Yes. My broken heart can't even process it. Lexi, can you give us a minute? Sure thing. But go gentle. She's in a fragile state. Did she just call me frail? Fragile. <laughs> Jal says you're a pathfinder from the Milky Way. Do you feel up for a talk? Ah, so now you value what I have to say. I feel for you, but I don't regret my decision. Then your sympathy is empty. So, the facility, what's the purpose of all that? They call it exaltation. They believe that those they exalt are given a great gift. Gift? They snatch us, defile and shatter us. All the ones we love, I, I... I can't. It's a complex genetic construct, an interchange of traits that the Ket use to advance their species. So they steal genes. But why? Reproduction. Domination. Tyranny. Annihilation. Yes, and yet, the Archon didn't take me to his ship to transform me. I hung, immobile, tormented, never sleeping, brought to him on a whim. He showed me remnant tech and beat me when I wouldn't speak. Oh no. Remnant, of course. He's obsessed. Like you are. Yes, Jal told me. You rescued me hoping to get into Aya's vault. My people have traveled so far. We'll die without a place to settle. These remnant vaults may be the key. A key to help both our species prosper. 
I feel for your people in a way that you clearly do not for Oh, mine. shut the hell up. But emotion must never get in the way of science. I'll take you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Moshe Sefa. I'm happy to answer any other questions for you, Pathfinder. Anytime. We just saved a crap load of your people. You could occasionally maybe forgive the fact that we didn't do one thing you asked us to do. Let's try talking to her. Wait, just what's need this? to rest up a bit. Oh that yeah, we already seen that. Bit while I recover my strength. Just need to okay. rest up a bit while I recover. Pathfinder, you have new email. Uh wrong way. Okay, here we go. Wow, okay, more email. Poker awaits. Two, Rider from Gil. Rider, the bell tolls for thee. Meet me at the Vortex on the Nexus. I'll be the one shuffling the deck of doom. Cheers from Gil. Message from Vold. Intel on the Ket. Two, Rider from Raelis. Greetings, Pathfinder. My name is Raelis. I serve the Angaran Resistance. Some of our scouts have returned with interesting information about the Ket that I'm sure will intrigue you. I will wait for you on Vold. Please come soon, Raelis. So, yeah, we've got at least two reasons now to go back to Vold. Well, three. Maybe four if you count that that damn drop that I couldn't get. <laughs> Stress tests. Two, Ryder from Callow. Hello, Ryder. Quite the rescue. The Tempest isn't intended for these kinds of operations, but she's performing splendidly. Not that I encourage you risking your life for stress tests or anything. Still, well done. I spoke to the most shy when I happened to pass the med bay. She left an impression, I must say. Patient, but remarkably driven. It's easy to see how she withstood the pressures of torture and that place. Sometimes I wonder what my people could do with a bit more time to be patient. Kello. Should be sleeping, but two, Ryder from Gill. Worked for 42 hours straight, ship's humming. Called it quits to get a little shut-eye, but I'm wide awake here. Figured it'd be time to practice some poetry. Didn't know I practiced poetry, neither did I, perhaps because I don't, but here goes. Helios, are you healing us? Or will we regret ever coming? Because of the cat, or forever bumming, or space. Wait a minute, is that actually good, or has the analytical sphere of my brain fallen asleep? Gil. And never mind, two writer from Gil. You know how I'm out here searching for true purpose? Yeah, poetry ain't it. Helios, are you healing us? Sheesh, from Gil. Okay. Alright, well, this is where we're going to call it quits for the day. Uh, next time, Planetary Hollow, what's this do actually? Real quick, I wanted to... <laughs> Oh, okay, interesting. So yeah, full 100% and all that. Anyway, uh, next time though, we're going to actually finish up what we were planning on doing this last time, which is going to the Nexus. Actually, we're going to take the Moshi back to Aya, then we'll see about going to the Nexus and uh, potentially Eos. Anyway, this has been the Resolute Cartographer. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.